So it's been another six months since my last Bad Lion client settings video, so today I will be releasing a much more up-to-date version just for you guys in this video. I'll also link the profile in the description for anyone who wants to download it, but you know, if you do find this video helpful, please let me know with a subscribe, it would mean the world to me. Let's get into these Bad Lion client settings. So similar to last video, I decided to go with a purple theme for this profile. I also used the simple layout as in my testing, this did save a ton of FPS which I know you guys will like. So that's why um, this isn't all blocky and stuff, it's just text. And so yeah guys, I'm going to show you how to download this profile, it's very simple and honestly, anyone can do it, it's very simple. Right guys, so the first thing you want to do is open the link in the description and it should take you to a page very similar to this and you want to just click download. So once you download it, you want to go to your Badline client, you want to press um, escape like this, press Badline client settings, go to configure mod profiles and you want to click this little button up here. So as you press it, it should take you to your Badline client mod profiles and uh, what you do, you all you want to do is download it, drag it, and then put it in here. And yeah, that's basically it. Let's As you can see, it, you should be able to go here again, and you will have something like this. And you should be able to apply the profile just like this. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully that works for you guys. Right guys, so now that I've shown you how to download the profile, I'm going to show you guys the mods and settings which come with the profile itself. Alright guys, so when you press R shift, you should get this little menu, and yeah, here are the mods which I've enabled for the profile. So first of all, we have animations. As you can see, I've enabled most of these for 1.7 animations, apart from the throne animation. Mainly because I just prefer the 1.8, you can change this once you have the profile if you like. Right guys, also GG. Basically what this mod does is if you are on Hypixel and you finish a game, it will basically write GG in the chat just for you so you can get more karma. This mod is pretty useful because you can get extra karma from it. I got auto text enabled because um, basically what it does, what it essentially allows you to do is you can type something, well you can set something as a keybind, you can set a command as a keybind. For an example, I've set lobby to free. So whenever I type free on my keyboard, whenever I press the button, it takes me to the lobby. You don't have to go type slash lobby in the chat to do that. You can just do it like that. Very simple and very easy to use. Okay, so now we have auto tip. So this basically just gives you free coins in different game modes for tipping random people. This is really good because, you know, it gives you coins. Who doesn't want coins? All right, guys, block overlay. So basically, you know what, well, a lot of you already know what block overlay does, but basically what it does is it changes colors when hovering on a block. Very simple. Next up we have CPS. So again, that's what, um, let me show you where my CPS is. That's up here in the top left along with my- So like I was saying before, I've got this so um, it's in the simple mode because the fancy mode actually gives you a lot less FPS. So again here we have like a bright pink color for the prefix and a lot darker pink color for the brackets. And the value is just in white because that just makes it easier to read. Alright guys, so chat. So these are mostly default badline client chat settings other than the anti-spams enabled because I hate spam. I don't know how well it does on Hypixel because I only enabled this a couple hours ago to play on different servers like Faithful and Luna. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. Crosshair, okay, this is kind of interesting because I've made it so it changes different colors according to the theme, the purple theme. And yeah, here are my crosshair settings. So I disabled this because I don't really know who uses their crosshair in third person. But um, yeah, all of these are disabled as well. You can change it if um, you want it to highlight during hostile and mobs and passive. I've already changed it so it will work with that. But um, yeah, that, that's basically it. I keep getting put into limbo. Got enchanglin as well, and FPS, okay. So FPS, I named the custom prefix the frames. You can change it if you want. You can name it whatever you want. You can name it, I don't know, uh, lol. I, I don't know. Basically, once you drop something, technically when you drop something, right? It's gonna have more of a realistic drop animation. Next up we have level head. So basically what this does is it displays a hypixel 
Okay, so next up we have Level Head. So basically what this does is it allows you to display Hypixel player levels above their heads. And yeah, I've set it so again it has a theme of purple to it, you can see here. And yeah, it's just a level where you can change this to like friends or karma. Wow, that's a massive number, Jesus. Or achieve points, you can you can change it to whatever you want or your, whatever your heart's content is, I, I don't know. I've heard this doesn't work for some people, but on some packs it really does make it look quite nice. Um, basically what you can do is you can set as many particles as you want. I usually keep it on two, and I also have sharpness particles enabled because it looks really good. If you aren't familiar with perspective mod, is um, once you can press F, I think F is the default, but you can do this. Whoa. Oh, okay. Next up we have the ping mod. So yeah, basically again, this is just ping. You can see what my ping is. And that's about it. Again, the formatting is the same as everything else. We got the brackets. Someone bowing me. They also have the zoom mod. So you can zoom in on people's faces. And yeah, you can change the scrolling speed as well. And yeah, this mod is really useful because that's how I can do this. Hold on a moment. We also have graphics. Of course, we have FPS boost enabled. I don't really know the difference though. So again, you can um, mess with these, I guess. Oh, and when you... <laughs> You want to enable this if you play uh, Rank Sky Wars. Otherwise, when your pots run out, your inventory will move. I've only just got to saying that. I'll probably update the profile so it already has this enabled because I know a lot of you guys watch me for Rank Sky Wars. And you probably don't want your inventory um, moving every time you put a pot in. So don't worry about that. I'll update it so you guys don't have to worry about it. I got all the name tags and icons like the insider settings off. So if you do have Batline Insider, you can enable these if you want to look nice. And um, yeah, I mean, for me, it doesn't really matter. Clear glass is definitely disabled because maps like Meteor in Rank Sky Wars are so annoying when you have glass disabled because the map is literally half glass. And oh, we're in limbo. I guess that concludes the settings you can leave now thanks for watching if you guys subscribe that would mean a lot to me you know it would, it would really mean a lot to me if you could you don't have to but if you did uh that'll make me happy thanks for watching i'm going peace